everyone, my name is Mona Awad and I am the author of Bunny, All's Well, and the forthcoming Rouge. Um, Rouge publishes on September 14th um, with Scribner UK and um, I'm so excited uh, to be able to share it with you. Um, isn't this cover incredible? Um, Rouge is a gothic fairy tale about beauty, envy, and grief. I like to describe it as Snow White uh, meets Eyes Wide Shut. Um, and it's about a lonely uh, dress shop clerk who, following the sudden and mysterious death of her mother, ends up getting lured into this very lavish, um, sinister cult. Um, so it really uses horror and fairy tale to explore our collective obsession with the surface and um, what demons and depths might lie beneath. I'm really, really excited to share it with you. And I'm also gonna share um, a few other books that um, inspired me um, in, the, in the writing of Rouge, um, and just some very old favorites as well. Um, the first is um, Brett Easton Ellis's um, American Psycho. Uh, for me, this is a classic. Um, really, since the beginning of um, my fiction writing life, um, this book has made such an impression on me. Um, it really changed the way that I read um, and the way that I experienced um, being with a character um, because it's just a complete commitment um, to this madman's consciousness um, and it's so visceral and it feels so real and um, there's no escaping it um, and I was just blown away um, by by um, my my experience moving through the world and, and seeing the world through this particular um, character's eyes. Um, I just think it's it's an incredible work of literature um, and it will always be a favorite and certainly um, I know it informed Rouge, especially her relationship to skincare. <laughs> so uh, yes, uh, American Psycho, forever a classic and I, I love the new one too, um, The Shards, it's really wonderful. Um, the next one is uh, another um, classic, uh, Angela Carter's The Bloody Chamber. This is a very um, famous uh, collection of uh, fairy tales. Um, Angela Carter sort of updating, <laughs> maybe um, subverting um, a lot of classic fairy tales. Um, my favorite in this collection is definitely The Bloody Chamber. It is so good. Um, they're so gothic. They're so delicious. Um, they are so subversive. Um, and just, um, but yet they have that love, that incredible love of, of what makes fairy tales just so powerful um, and so resonant um, even today. And so I, I always return to it. I, I love this book so much. Um, and then finally, uh, Piranesi by Susanna Clark. Um, this is probably one of my favorites um, in, in recent years. Uh, I read this in September 2020, so in the heart of the pandemic, and it really did get me through it. Um, I just love, again, like American Psycho, this complete commitment to a consciousness. Um, you're really with this character as they're navigating this, this strange, very bewildering new world um, that they're enchanted by, um, but is maybe more sinister than they think. Um, and I love the innocence of this character. Um, I, I just think it's, it's an incredible feat of imagination, and yet it still feels like the stakes, the emotional stakes are really, really high. And I do love um, work that incorporates fantastic elements, um, but that still um, makes you feel like there's something at stake in the real world. Um, and I think this book does that so beautifully. Um, so certainly it was a huge influence on Rouge. Um, so yeah, uh, those are the three uh, that I recommend and that certainly um, influenced Rouge. And um, again, so excited to share this book uh, with you. Um, coming out September 14th with Scribner. Thank you so much, Waterstones, um, for all of your support and uh, hope to see you soon. Okay, thank you.